Advertising can be amazing. In rare cases, the best advertisements can leave you emotional. In the worst cases, they can leave you disgusted. Most leave you feeling nothing at all. But some of them make you pause, cause you to tilt your head and go, huh? Let's go down the memory lane as we seek some of the strangest, if not weirdest, commercials ever made. Number 10. Quiznos Commercial Recently, for reasons that remain unclear, that weird Quiznos commercial from 2004 started trending on Twitter. If you were alive and awake that year, you definitely remember it. Some hailed the singing sponge monkeys as trendsetters for future surreal ad campaigns. Others relived the confusion they felt the first time they saw the ad. And a surprisingly high number of people expressed abject fear. It's not the only time a commercial has unintentionally scared the bejesus out of kids. But back in the day, Tefl, a British range of household electrical items, insisted on putting men with oversized heads in all of their commercials. Their large craniums were supposed to imply a greater degree of intelligence, but all they achieved in most households was giving little children nightmares for years. Was it the grotesquely long skulls that scared them? The creepy multitasking or the glaring lack of female eggheads? It doesn't really matter. This advert will never not be horrifying. Number 9. Japanese Banana Commercial The Japanese advertising industry has embraced weirdness with a lot of surreal and supernatural nonsense like the aggressive insanity of Nissan Instant Curry commercials. But this ad from Dole deserves special recognition for being so succulent with its strangeness. It starts with an introduction to a man who's at least 50% made of bananas. Banana hands, banana coming out of his ears, and a little banana mustache. We see him being beaten up and harassed by gangsters and ordinary citizens alike, all ravenous for his fruity goodness. But then, Banana Man senses sadness. A woman is crying on a park bench, so Banana Man cheers her up by spraying a snot rocket of bananas into her lap before flapping his banana hands to fly off. The entire saga unfolds in just 15 seconds. Number 8. Wendy's Soviet Fashion Show With the threat of nuclear annihilation waning during the later years of the Cold War, advertisers took aim at the Russians. In 1985, Wendy's took a shot at the conformity of communism with a Soviet fashion show parody where a woman marches down the runway three times to model day wear, evening wear, and swimwear. Each time, she's wearing the same unflattering potato sack looking dress, although she carries a beach ball at the end. The entire 60 second commercial is weird and wonderful. Number 7. The Flintstones Winston Cigarette Commercial Surprisingly enough, this commercial featured Fred Flintstone and Barney Rubble lighting up and puffing away on some Winston cigarettes. Don't believe it? It really happened! This commercial aired in 1961. While the Flintstones is often viewed as a kid show these days, it was actually the first primetime animated sitcom aimed at adults. In the early 60s, smoking was still a big part of pop culture and many people's daily experiences. That's why the commercial didn't lead to much outcry when it originally aired. 
This would actually be impossible today, as by law, tobacco products can no longer be marketed on television in most countries. In this ad, we see Fred and Barney slouching around doing nothing as Wilma and Betty are hard at work around the yard and in the house. Bored, the animated pals try to come up with an idea for something to do. Barney suggests a smoking break, a notion Fred enthusiastically agrees to. They then proceed to light their smokes and puff away, all the while extolling the virtues of Winston's smooth, rich tobacco flavor. At the end of the ad, Fred shows a bit more chivalry, lighting the cigarette of a now-seated Wilma. As he does so, he sings the company slogan, Winston tastes so good like a cigarette should. Number 6. Sprite Lyman Spa Commercial Remarkably, making fruit freaky has been a staple of American advertising for decades. The California raisins might have sparked an entire TV show and a giant pile of merch, but when you get down to it, there was always something rather unsettling about them. Are they worshipping at the feet of a sun-made overlord in this ad? Or harassing a woman who's locked in an attic, her smile frozen into a Stepford wife's grimace to placate them? It's impossible to tell because everyone involved has hollow dead eyes. I'm definitely no closer to wanting to eat grapes of sadness. Number 5. Dallas Dodge's Skateboarding Bulldog Commercial Animals using vehicles is a trend almost as old as television itself, and it never ages. It's still just as amusing to see that fearless water-skiing squirrel, whether it's filler for a local news broadcast or a hallucination brought on by a lack of sleep. Dallas Dodge employed a time-honored tactic in one of its more recent ads. They found a bulldog that can skateboard. That's pretty much the whole hook, and to their credit, they don't see the need to add any more to it. They didn't dress it up in a Hawaiian tourist outfit and make it look like it's surfing, or stick it in front of a green screen and make it look like he's competing with Tony Hawk in the X Games. It's just a skateboarding bulldog, followed by the usual car dealership pitch. If the Texas Hammer found this little guy or girl, he'd go overboard and make it fight a semi-truck, which would completely miss the point. Number 4. The Little Baby's Ice Cream Commercial In 2011, Little Baby's Ice Cream launched in Philadelphia, selling small batches of specialty ice cream. In 2012, they decided to announce themselves to the world with an advertisement featuring a humanoid creature made of glutinous white ice cream, using a spoon to eat the contents of its own head. The ad became the first in a series of surreal and disturbing art films by Doug Garth Williams, all designed to form a permanent association between ice cream and nightmares because apparently, ice cream is a feeling of overwhelming dread. The campaign was apparently so popular that the founder was able to branch out with a pizza restaurant called Pizza Brain, which predictably became embroiled in the Pizzagate conspiracy theory. While Little Baby's Ice Cream has since closed all its locations, the bizarre commercials are still available on the official Little Baby's Ice Cream YouTube channel. If you're still with us up to this point, we kindly ask you to subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet done so. Also, give us a like, share the video, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell for timely updates of our latest uploads. Let's continue. Number 3. Unicorn Poop Commercial You're pooping wrong. 
that's what the Squatty Potty wants you to know, and they want to do something about it. See, thousands, or even hundreds of years ago, we weren't sitting pretty on the porcelain throne, waiting for our final movement before going back to non-toilet life. We used to squat with our knees above our hips. The makers of Squatty Potty had a stool for stool solution. But how could they get the message out? How about a unicorn pooping multicolored soft serve ice cream? Quote, no, Squatty Potty is not a joke. And yes, it will give you the best poop of your life guaranteed. End quote says its male mascot, dressed in 14th century clothes, in a made-for-the-internet commercial. And it worked. The video went viral, and by 2018, the company was flush with $33 million in sales. Number 2. Wilkinson Sword Commercial Europe-based razor manufacturer Wilkinson Sword launched an advertising campaign based on a man fighting his baby for his wife's attention. Literally. See, the baby's skin is soft, which has the wife caressing the baby. The jealous husband then discovers Wilkinson's razors which makes his skin just as smooth, and the wife goes back to putting her face on his. The baby then montage trains to beat up the father. The commercial itself is pretty wild, but there was more to this fight for kisses campaign than just television spots. The advertising companies behind it, JWT Paris and Femme Goucher, also released a flash game where you could go toe to diaper with a wife-stealing baby. The game itself is gone, but there's a YouTube video showing a match between the father and son, and it's anticlimactic. Despite the baby busting out some kung fu moves in the commercial, the only thing the father and baby do is smack each other with pillows. Number 1. Groupon's Tibet Super Bowl Commercial Super Bowl commercials have a tradition of being edgy and topical. After all, it costs millions of dollars to secure that 30 to 60 second space of real estate during the big game. Therefore, it's not hard to see why the companies who pay for these ads try their hardest to make them into fodder for Monday morning water cooler conversation and online debates. A good, or maybe really bad example of this is a commercial from Super Bowl 2011 for the online coupon giant Groupon. It revolves around the hardships faced by the citizens of Tibet. It begins with a serious tone but then quickly devolves into offensive territory. After a sober introduction by actor Timothy Hutton, the tone is then changed to an irreverent one, talking about how great it is that 200 people could save money on fish curry served up by Tibetans in a Chicago restaurant. Considering the harsh realities of what the people of Tibet have had to endure at the hands of the Chinese Communist Party, any mockery of their experience is in pretty poor taste. It should come as no surprise that this commercial riled thousands. What is surprising is that at the time of its airing, Groupon was supporting a pro-Tibet charity on its site. Even more surprisingly, they didn't mention this fact when the cries of outrage started pouring in. The moral of the story? If you're going to say, just kidding, after a tasteless joke, don't forget to actually say, just kidding. That's all on our video about the strangest and weirdest commercials ever done. If you enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more of our amazing content. Please give us a like, share the video, 
And don't forget to turn on the notification bell for timely updates of our latest uploads. We value your feedback. Feel free to share your thoughts with us in the comments section below.